Guys, it's 2.14 a.m. in the morning, and the Lord has woken me, or well, I wasn't sleeping anyway, but he told me to get back on here to talk to you all about this topic. My brothers and sisters, I don't know why it's in me, but I'm sure that I'm not missing the mark. I hear God saying, pornography will kill you. Pornography will kill you. Now, some of you may not understand why, and and as I was listening to the Lord, he put it in my heart. He said, the reason why it will kill you is because many of you are struggling with it and you feel so guilty. You feel so guilty in the direction in which it's taken you. you. You feel so guilty in the things that you're getting curious about. As you go on these sites, the things that you would normally look at, you're beginning to venture over into other things and you're being drawn to it. Some of you straight men y'all are looking at gay porn women you're looking at at a, a lesbian porn you're looking at different things and so you're getting conflicted within yourself some of you have even began to masturbate to these type of things you're starting to masturbate to other things that would normally normally be be considered unnatural to you you are looking at things that's just you're, some of you have moved into looking at anime and cartoons and things of that nature. And what's happening, why it will kill you, my brothers and sisters, is because each time you're doing this, each time you're pleasuring yourself, you're opening up yourself to darkness. Sexual sin is the only sin that comes from within because you're defiling your body. You're defiling yourself. So this is why many of you are having a hard time praying. Many of you are having a hard time looking at the word. Many of you are having a hard time doing the things of God. And the reason why that is happening is because there's something else there. That spirit of masturbation and lust is within you. And you see, you can't do the things of God. And that's why you find yourself looking at people and, and looking Looking at some of you, you're starting to get to such a level of perversion that you're getting depressed. You're getting discouraged. You want to stop doing certain things, but you can't stop. You can't stop, but you can in the name of Jesus. But I hear God saying, pornography will kill you. Pornography will kill you. A lot of people that have taken their lives, you see, they said they may have said there were something else. And again, this is not everyone. But God has revealed to me this night or this morning that a lot of the people that have committed suicide, some of these big celebrities that's killed themselves. My brothers and sisters, it wasn't just life. It wasn't just certain things that took them out. But in addition to the fact that they were looking at pornography, again, not everybody, but many of them, God is saying they were looking at pornography. They're looking at different things. And the spirit brings with it a bunch of other spirit. First of all, because once you get bound and you find that you can't stop, you begin to, you begin to get depressed. You begin to have self-loathing. You begin to feel some sort of you feel irritated with yourself. You begin to resent yourself for what you're doing and what you're looking at. And in addition, you're keeping it a secret because it's shameful. I've noticed just a few of the videos that I've put out about pornography. There isn't much in the thread. And I get it because that's really not something most people are going to confess to. But my brothers and sisters in Christ, what I'm telling you right now is to run to the Lord. Get before him in prayer. You pray and you pray and you pray and you pray. My brothers and sisters, I'm not even inviting you that if you haven't done it and if it's been laid on your heart, join on to this fast. If it's been, it's, it's in your spirit, join on this fast. If you would like to today, or if you'd like to tag along and come on on Friday, God is saying pornography leads to death. Many people have committed suicide. There's another story over why they did it. They suffered from anxiety. They suffered from depression. And we need you to understand that these things are spirits. God speaks about these things that tormented people in the Bible. Demons that had to be cast out. Demons that go into dry places looking for other places. And then they come back to the place that they have known. My brothers and sisters, God is putting it in my heart to tell y'all a day pornography will kill you pornography will kill you because it keeps you bound 
You begin to hate yourself. You begin to hate everything that you're doing. It brings in, in, and what happens? Immediately after you're done, you begin to feel filthy. You have the desire for it, but immediately after you're finished, do you just feel good, drink some Kool-Aid and go to bed? Or are you in a place of you feel disgusted with yourself on certain things? Many of you are feeling that way. Those of you that serve in God because you're conflicted. So that the enemy desires to bring in the spirit of depression, the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of self-loathing. Not only that, when you cannot perform well with your husband or your wife, when you can't do anything without looking at pornography on television, you're making your wife or your husband feel a certain way about themselves. And a lot of times the enemy will make them feel like they are insignificant. It will make them feel like something is wrong with them, especially once you begin to go outside the marriage. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to begin, if you haven't already, start going outside the marriage. Because you either trying to do kinky things in the bed. And then you're going outside the marriage. You start cheating on them. So she's doing all kinds of things. Or he's doing all kind, doing all types of things. But I see it mostly with the women. Doing all type of stuff to keep you from cheating again. And so what goes on, that depression comes upon the spouse that is discovering that you desire something more. That's discovering that you have other things. Some of you, you're in a place where you're looking to try to go and meet prostitutes. And so this thing is what will drive you to the place where some of you, the spirit of suicide could come upon you because you're dealing with anxiety and depression. Remember, demons they they work in teams they work in groups so the first thing that comes is most of the time with pornography and these things they are going to cause you to start to sneak that requires dishonesty that requires you to lie and so sneaking and lying leads you to start to do other things you start to defend it you start to protect it then at the same time you're going to feel guilty for doing it then at the same time you're going to feel guilty for what you're looking at i hear god saying today you need to surrender this thing to me in the name of jesus christ god is saying it's time to turn away from this thing it's going to destroy your life it's going to destroy your marriage it's going to to destroy your mind it's going to destroy your ministry and the biggest thing about this is that it's going to come to the light because you're going to find yourself meeting up with somebody in hotels you're going to find yourself caught up in the bed of someone you have no business doing it with and God is saying he's trying to prevent you from exposure my brothers and sisters in Christ once again I'm going to tell you seek the Lord pray about him pray pray to him about this issue that you're struggling with this is for men and women and young teens alike I am telling you a lot of you are looking at things and your kids are finding it out and they are struggling with it themselves they're looking at pornography and things of this nature on their cell phones they're in the room with the door lock masturbating because what you have brought into the house has come upon them that spirit is now coming upon them my brothers and sisters in Christ this is serious obey God once again my brothers and sisters I'm gonna put it in the description box to my brother pastor Albert Amara he deals with this type of stuff but first and foremost run to the look run to the Lord but don't be afraid to go over to that channel I'm going to add, again add the links to when he did a 31 day uh, prayer thing for pornography and he also has other links and things like that I'm just learning that he has books that he has written my brothers and sisters listen if you're desperate enough, then you're going to run after God. First of all, run after God. If you're desperate enough, go see and talk to the person that is is has struggled and walked in this area and has been victorious over it now. <sighs> Some of you, you're ashamed because you're right in the same place. You don't want to talk to somebody. Well, this person is in Germany. Talk to them. They way across the country. So they all way across the world. So they can help you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. And some of you may be in Germany and may want to meet and get some help. Well, we're not meeting these days. But guys, go into my description box. Click that arrow. Check out his channel. 
I encourage you to subscribe as well, my brothers and sisters. We're all here doing the things of God. Go over there, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get new updates on what's going on. Be serious about this. This is a nasty spirit that clings to and cleaves to us and it's not of God. I hear God saying, my brothers and sisters in Christ, it's time to come clean. It's time to fight this filthy spirit. You are not alone. This is the word of the Lord today. In Jesus' name.